I did, because something fantastic happened in Bangladesh. Nobody could imagine at all that such, such a thing can happen. Young people, young people just got together, said enough is enough. We don't want you anymore. This is the end. We want to mark it end. Government tried to bring police to kill, shoot, and they did. They killed a lot of young people. But the more you kill, the more young people come up and say, kill us too. They come as they, every morning, they start their demonstration on the street, the big crowd becoming a bigger crowd. They say goodbye to their families, that I'm, today I may not come back. <coughs> uh, they say goodbye to their friends, and some of them go together and say goodbye to each other. We don't know who will come back, who will be on the street falling as a dead soldier. And that's the way it went. And the police killed one, and that four more came up and said, kill us too. They gave up. They got exhausted. They don't know what to do in a situation like that. You're supposed to be opposing, you're supposed to be resisting, you're supposed to be many drastic things. We're not doing that. You're simply say, say, I'm here. And they would stop killing and just complain to their bosses that why are we doing this? Because they keep coming. You kill one, three more comes up. You kill three, 30 more comes up. So kill us too. So that is the spirit in which the whole revolution took place. It's a revolution of uh, no example anywhere in the world. That's it. Unarmed young people, they don't throw any stick, they don't throw, throw any stone to anybody. Simply saying that we don't want you. And we have a new Bangladesh for in our mind. And they elaborated what this new Bangladesh is all about. That's a dream that they have. And the very articulate. It's not this kind of a conversation you see, jumbled up conversation. It's very precise conversation. They came up with a strategy nobody ever thought could be done. There's no leadership. So you cannot arrest somebody that you are the leader. The leader goes out and uh, the whole thing stops. No. It's a kind of spread out leadership. One goes, two more comes up. And uh, <clears throat> nickname they got themselves in, coordinators. That's the word. Somebody becomes a coordinator. So I'm the coordinator. You organize your things. So you don't know how many coordinators are sitting here. Who do you arrest? Who do you take to the prison? So they couldn't do that. They couldn't find out. So this is a very unique kind of a revolution that the students came out, out of nowhere. Political parties, opposition political parties trying very hard to dislodge the government, which was in power for 15 years with no election, nothing, and destroyed almost all the institutions, destroyed all the uh, principles of governance. It's a misgovernance everywhere. And people were fed up but afraid to talk. They knew it, but nobody could talk. So we had a new language of uh, kind of communication without saying anything, but uh, you are saying things. These young people didn't go through that path. They said, spade is spade, and stood by it, and in a very articulate way. I have some of uh, my students who fought this, uh, are, here, are they here? Aisha. Aisha, are you there? Mabuz? Yeah,